The public enemy is a computer application delivered via the network. Grant yourself the ability to throw the proverbial chair at the system. It feels good, momentarily, but in reality our systems are designed to be relief valves that maintain the status quo. Of course, the election of 2016 was rife with wrestling metaphors. From Trump as Barker at WWF events to accusations that Bernie Sanders supporters threw chairs in Arizona. We have completed the transition to a fully electorate, entertainment-based social formation that renders us incapable of addressing matters of substance. Twitter functions as a substitute for direct action while Facebook marshals communities in the service of the corporate state. The public enemy asks us to consider who is the real enemy. Upon entry, one is presented with a looping animation of a moment, an augenblick that encapsulates the U.S. psyche. Hardcore Heaven, 1994. This is the moment that immortalized the chair throw as a sublime act of violence around which one can build an economy. Clicking the animation causes the custom WebGL application to load. In either corner of a gilt frame are the true puppet masters of this match, Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, and Lloyd Blankfein, CEO of Goldman Sachs. Graciously, they provide us a choice in the middle of the screen. After selecting one or both of the U.S. political parties, the fun begins. The participant can throw a chair by aiming at a target and clicking with their mouse, an act that mirrors the flaccid, spineless, torpid state of U.S. politics. Bloated icons of each party resist any effort to change or buckle to the invective of the masses. Their Baroque ring floats in Walden Pond, scene of the myth of American self-reliance and rugged individualism. For each collision with a chair, a storm of hashtags falls from the sky. These tags are regularly curated from amongst the most active political and wrestling themed topics on Twitter. When a tag hits one of the party icons, it sets in motion a series of events that results in the application displaying and posting a tweet to the public enemy Twitter account. A custom server application opens the Twitter stream each day and stores thousands of tweets using these curated hashtags, stuffing them into a Mongo database. These tweets are subsequently used by a natural language processing library called Rita to recombinantly structure sentences that are reseeded into the network. The tweets are composed in a mashup with Gregory Ulmer's Avatar Emergency, Roland Barthes' The World of Wrestling from Mythologies, Thoreau's Economy from Walden, and a transcript from Extreme Championship Wrestling One Night Stand 2006. This recursive process completes and homogenizes the act of dissent, making the system safe, preserving the status quo. The ultimate expression of the public enemy requires a heavy-duty computer allowing one to experience dump mode. In this mode, the application dumps chairs on the party icons in proportion to the popularity of relevant tags on Twitter. As can be seen in the video, piles of chairs build up, each with physically based collision detection burying the party icons in the process. The public enemy was programmed using Node.js for real-time server interaction, 3.js for WebGL 3D world construction, Ammo.js using bullet physics for soft body deformation and collision detection, the Twitter API, Bluebird.js, and MongoDB for bot construction, data streaming capabilities, and storage. Language processing is via Daniel Howe's Rita.js library. The work was produced over the summer of 2016 and was not supported by the artist's employer. The work is hosted online via Google Cloud solely at individual expense. 
everyone except the designer is absolved of responsibility for the work. Thank you to all of those whose ideas inspired this project.